Hello my friends, thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Okay, this is what is in my cart for the VIB sale. I actually have already ordered it. Uh, one of the employees at my Sephora, this is the first time it's ever happened to me, uh, did give me the friends and family discount, which is 20% off. And I was able to place my order uh, the other day. So I'm hoping that my order comes and I can share it all in life for you. But if not, you will know and you will probably see down the road at some point me playing with them on camera. Uh, but here is my list and it is quite lengthy. And uh, a lot of times I will order things that are not carried in the store uh, and the color doesn't always work out for me when I get it. So I will send those items back. And because it was a one-time use 20% off, I ordered everything I possibly, everything I saw that I wanted, everything, okay? So I know some will have their calculators out and they'll probably have themselves a coronary, but no worries, okay? Because, um, you know, I, I didn't, I'm not, ta I promise I won't take a penny out of your wallet, okay? All right, so the first thing that I ordered, and this is something that I have used over and over and over again. I think I'm on my third bottle and I will continue to use this product. I'm a little disappointed in Sunday Riley. She has not come out with her eye cream yet and there is no longer the Bionic cream, which for, to me, for me, was the best moisturizer I have ever used on my skin and it's no longer available. And her eye cream was phenomenal. I don't know what's going on. Last time I, I asked on Instagram, she did respond and said that it's coming back. So she'll probably do like La Mer and make it smaller and cost more money. All right, anyway, it is the Sunday, uh, okay. I got off track there. Uh, so anyway, uh, I'm a little disappointed in Sunday Riley for that, but Good Jeans is still available. So I got the Sunday Riley Good Jeans all-in-one lactic acid treatment. I love this. I use it every single morning and I just think it's phenomenal. My skin responds really well to it. It's a, it's a gentle way of exfoliating. Uh, everything, anything that you put on your skin that does an exfoliator or uh, an enzyme or an, has an acid in it will, of course, make your skin uh, photosensitive. So when you go out in the sun, you just have to make sure that you're using a good sunscreen. Uh, another product, now this is a new line that I have never tried and I thought this sounded really, really nice and it is the Herbivore Coco Rose Coconut o Oil Body Polish. Um, it just sounds really yummy to me. And uh, with my skin being so dry, it's so important for me to constantly exfoliate so that I get uh, the cell turnover and so that when I am using body products, it's not fighting through all of my dead skin. So I'm going to give that a go. Uh, my Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. I just love this mascara and I will always have a tube or two of it. Uh, then there's a new product that I saw in my store when I was in there. Now it may have been off, out for some time. You have to remember sometimes other Sephora's, they roll out their products before, you know, some of the other Sephora's. So, um, like the lemon peels, some of you were so familiar with that one. I have never seen it and I'm in my Sephora all the time. And it's the first time that I was able to really see it. And the girl told me it was a new product, but some of you knew all about it, but yet, some of you knew about the wine pads and there's no wine in my store, only the lemon. So, and I looked online, I didn't see the wine, but I'm gonna go back and check that for sure because I was a little tired when I was looking online. Okay. All right, so uh, I'm gonna try the Dr. Jart Dermaclear Micro Milk Peel. I'm gonna give that a try. And then um, I'm not real keen on the Kate Somerville line, but I'm gonna try this because I'm looking for a retinal product for around my eye because uh, I am I do have fine wrinkles right here. So I'm looking uh, at the Kate Somerville Retinal Firming Eye Cream. And of course, we all know that retinal products are the way to go for uh, wrinkles, okay? And we can't fool ourselves. All right, another thing, I'm, another item I'm gonna try because I absolutely love the eye palette, I'm going to try the Kat Von D Light Face Contour Palette. Uh, I'm not sure that I'll use everything that's in it, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. And then I thought for all of you to do tutorials, I would try the Urban Decay Naked Ultimate Basics. Now I must be honest with you, I do have a naked Ur Urban Decay Naked palette. 
Um, the small one, I have a couple other palettes. I have the big ones, but I have a small one. I don't really like it at all, but I thought I would go ahead and try this because it looks like it has some warm shades in it. Now that may be an item that goes back. It wasn't available for me to look at in my store. So I'm going to see, but if it doesn't have enough warm colors in it, it will go back. And then I ordered two Dior lipsticks. Uh, and they, these colors are not available in my store, but they look like really nice beige tone lipsticks with peach. And one is 263 Hassard and Hassard. And of course, if any of you are using these products and you want to tell me down in the comments, what you think you please. And thank you. Okay. Do. Uh, and then the other lipstick is the, uh, it's called 439. Why not? So I thought I would go ahead and order those again. If the colors are off when I open up the tube, they will go back, but this is what's in my cart. And I went ahead and I'm going to order the Dr. Dennis Grote Skincare Pro Facial Steamer. Now I do have his original steamer, which is phenomenal. And I do not know how he could possibly top it, but I thought I would go ahead and order it and see how it works and how it compares to the other one because the other one is no longer available at uh, Sephora and it is the same price point. Uh, he didn't really change that, but it's one that you lean down into now and the steam comes up. The other one was more like an esthetician's that blows on you. So uh, if I like it and it works well, I'll just send it to Florida. Speaking of Florida, many of you are confused and think I live in Florida. I actually live in New York state. We have a home in near Naples, Florida, where we are going to retire. Not right now. It's too early for us to retire, but, uh, we found a home that we absolutely loved in an area that we love. So we have a home and we go, we can't go. We're not snowbirds or anything like that. We can't go and stay there for months during the winter. We go for a week at a time because that's all our schedule allows for our vacations. So we go, you know, for a week. And then at Christmas, we're lucky enough to be able to go for two weeks and then we won't go in January and then cause January, the weather can be iffy in Florida and I want me some heat when I'm going down to Florida. Uh, so we end up going in February and then again in March. And sometimes we sneak in maybe a long weekend in April and then we close the house up. My sister actually lives in Florida and she takes care of it. Um, once a week for us, she goes in and makes sure that everything's running okay. And there's no damage or no bugs are taking up living space or what do they call them? Squatters. We don't want any squatter bugs around. Okay. So that's the Florida deal. All right. So let's get back to my list. Uh, the next thing, because so many of you have asked me if I have tried this and unfortunately my Clarisonic bit the bullet. I was going to buy another Clarisonic, but, uh, I'm going to try the Foreo Luna because so many of you have asked me what I thought of it and I had no thoughts because I hadn't tried it. So I'm going to try it. And then this is a palette that I actually ordered a long time ago and I sent it back cause I thought, Oh, I just don't need it. But now that I'm doing so many tutorials and you're all enjoying them, I wanted to get it again because I think there are colors in this palette that I don't have in some of my other ones. And that's the Laura Mercier I art artist palette. I also am going to get the Tarte Amazonian clay blush palette color wheel because I have never purchased a Tarte blush and I hear so many people talk about them, including some of you in the comments. And this wheel looks like you'll never need to buy another blush. And I'm going to order a backup of my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder because I love it. I'm also ordering a backup of my urban decay, naked skin, weightless, complete coverage concealer. I am in medium light neutral. I love it. I'm also ordering, uh, ordering a backup of the urban decay, naked skin, correcting fluid in peach. This works better than my Armani ever worked better than my Bobbi Brown worked. I just love the peach and it cancels out all the bluing veins and the bruising looking I have that goes on on both sides of my eyes here and my darkness here and on the inner, I put it and I have this product on today. Um, then there are a couple lipsticks in YSL. Now I don't normally like YSL lipsticks, but these colors look so beautiful and there are three of them. Again, these were online, so I'm not sure what they're going to look like in real life, but one is number six and it's R Rouge Bergamasque. 
And, and the other one is 53 Beige Promenade or Promenade. And then number nine, Rose Stiletto. I'm always looking for a rose that isn't so blue, that has a little bit of depth to it. But I have a really hard time because everything turns blue on me that has even a hint of blue. All right, another thing I have ordered because I did a little video for you, a VIB Try It video with the Glam Glow Gravity Mod Firming Treatment. I loved the results from this mask. Now someone left a comment that didn't really, she didn't really care for the Glam Glow products. I have to agree that they're all, it's hit or miss with them, but this one here is a good one. And I also like the one in the green jar, the uh, one that is cream to mud and you massage it and it turns into mud. And then when you wet it, no, it's a mud, you massage it, it turns into a milky oil. I love that one too. Uh, not crazy about the very first one. I think it's very abrasive. Okay, so then I also ordered a, another tube of the Lancome Pro uh, Pore Eraser. I love that. Um, Joelle sent me a Caudalie Cabernet body scrub in the shower. I love it. I ordered a backup of that. Uh, in the Giovanni, this is a Giovanni lipstick. I do like these. Uh, this is considered a matte, but it's got a nice satin finish to it. It's not aging on the lips, but I do have a little bit of gloss in the center of it. I ordered the Giovanni Le Rouge in 106 Nude Gal Pure. Guipure, Guipure, Pure. Guipure? I don't know. I'm trying to make it French. It's probably turned into Spanish coming from me. All right. And then I'm looking for the perfect brown lip liner. So I'm going to try two of the Givenchy liners. One is called Lychee and the other is called Coffee. I'm going to see, I'm looking for a certain brown to wear with my nudes and to warm them up just slightly. But a lot of the brines, I've, I've purchased a couple in the drugstore and I had some already, but the browns have a little bit too much red in them or a little bit too much gray. So I want the one that a brown that has the perfect, almost terracotta brown with warmth to it, not a coolness. Uh, and then I ordered the Kat Von D limited edition studded lipstick. I have no idea what it's like. I don't know if it's a matte. I have no idea, but the color looked beautiful and it's called, it's Lolita number two. And then I ordered a Marc Jacobs Beauty Enamored High Shine Gloss Lip Lacquer. I always hear, uh, well, I don't watch her all the time because her makeup looks, she's incredibly talented, but there's nothing that she does that I can wear and that's Jaclyn Hill, but she is incredibly talented and um, deserves every ounce of attention she gets because she is a very gifted makeup artist. But um, I don't find her looks wearable for anybody over 40. That's how I feel about that. Um, but I'm not saying anything negative about her cause she's fabulous, but she does mention one of the glosses all the time. And I can't, the name escapes me right now. I'll put it in an annotation. They're always sold out because she mentions it all the time. All right. So, um, I also ordered some mask. Karuna Under Eye Melting Boost. These are all new masks, so I thought I would give them a try. And the Karuna Under Eye Melting Boost. Karuna Age Defying Hand Mask, because some of you have told me the hand mask is fabulous. Uh, they also have a foot mask, but I didn't get that one. Karuna Renewal Eye Mask, because you know, every woman needs eye mask. And then I also ordered a backup of the Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Nightcap Overnight Treatment. Love, love, love that product. Um, a couple of you have mentioned in comments asking me what I thought of the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. So I added that to my bag and we shall see. That is my complete list for the first friends and family. Of course, when I get these, some, one of these, some of these products may not be right. And I'm also going to place an order when it comes time for the VIB sale, because this was a one-time um, code. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, order a couple of things for VIB, which I'll share for you in a haul later down the road, because that will come after the sale. Anyway, let me know what you're putting in your cart. Of course, I will list and link all of these products below for you. Throughout the video, I inserted the actual picture of the product so you would know what it really looked like because I didn't have it to hold up for you. But um, I would love to hear what, 
what all of you uh, feel is a must have from Sephora because you know I have to I have to have an, I have another code coming for the VIB and I might want to fill it up you never know all right thanks for stopping by don't forget subscribe we're anti-aging here be happy healthy beautiful and most of all my friends lovable I love you all bisous <laughs>